But first, making world history by becoming the first person to ski both the North and South Poles, climb all seven summits, and race through the hottest and coldest deserts in the world. We'll meet this incredible explorer after the break. At the age of 60, Len Stanmore is preparing for his next big adventure. He's already climbed Mount Everest and even skied both the North and South Poles. Maybe Lala Kwan tells us about his next challenge. It's the crack of dawn in Streetsville. Already, Len Stanmore's put in a day's work in the gym. At 60, he's preparing to race across a desert. It's just the latest challenge he's attempted since he sold his telecommunications business in 1998. I had a really bad lifestyle. Smoked cigars, probably drank too much. <laughs> yeah. Did all the bad, never exercised at all. I wasn't outdoorsy. He sure is now. He first set his sights on climbing Mount Kilimanjaro. Then it was the seven summits. And that's climbing the highest mountain on each continent. I thought, well, That'll lead up five years of my time. This is wonderful. It'll give me something to do. So I started climbing. I started with the easiest ones first, and I worked my way up to Everest. But even that wasn't enough. So he skied both the North and South Poles. Monday, he heads back to the Antarctic to run a 250-kilometer race. He's the toughest, toughest person I've ever trained. If anything, I have to tell him to back off. By completing the fourth last desert race, Stanmore will raise money for trekking for kids in support of orphanages in Africa and Nepal. He'll also make history. To do the ultimate global challenge, you have to complete the seven summits, ski to the North and South Pole, and run the four deserts. And today, nobody's done that. This workout over, Stanmore is on the move again. I'll see you when you get back. I'll do another three hours of cardio now. Three more hours, yeah. okay. And then you call it a day? Debbie Lytle Kwan, CBC News, Streetsville. He's doing it so we don't have to. <laughs> Coming up to the top of the clock, all your day's top stories are next. CBC News Toronto at 6 starts right now.